let's try to compute work done by vector field f and f is given right here uh, as x 0 and 1 in moving a particle along uh, the path parameterized by r of t equal to cosine t sine t and 3t in the given uh, orientation um, uh, where t is between 0 and starts at 0 and ends at 2 pi. So how do we go about this? Any uh, vector um, uh, line integral, uh, basically work done by f, is going to be a vector line integral. Um, uh, any vector line integral uh, is, is, and we start with um, basically using the parameterization and finding the uh, r prime of t and r prime of t in this case is going to be minus uh, sine of t and cosine t and 3 uh, this this is actually in helix helix um, um, with one rotation 0 to 2 pi um, now uh, the next step is to find f of r of t and that is basically uh, for x you plug in uh, the x value of r of t which is in here right there cosine of t and so cosine t then 0 then 1 so that um, does the f of r of t now a dot product will give me f of r of t dot r prime of t is equal to uh, negative sine t or sine t um, plus So now, uh, uh, let's see, this is actually equal to negative sine of 2t divided by 2. Um, the next step is to write the interval after the dot product. So this was, um, one was finding the parameterization and taking the derivative to uh, parameterizing f. 3 uh, computing the dot product, 4 computing the integral of the dot product, and using the bounds and direction given. So 0 to 2 pi. And so how does this go? Um, negative sine of 2t becomes uh, positive cosine of 2t divided by 2, 0 to 2 pi, and that's plus 3t, 0 to 2 pi. Um, the first term is going to be 0 because um, there's a full rotation in the cosine. The second term is going to be uh, 6 pi. So this is the work done um, by the uh, uh, vector field on the particle and moving it along the uh, helix from um, the bottom to the uh, place that basically for t equal to uh, 2 pi.